Quickly before we start the video, I'd just like to say be sure to hit that sub button if you enjoy my content and also the notification button to stay updated on my latest uploads. Yo, what is up guys? My name is Steven and welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video. Now, quick disclaimer before we start. Um, you probably have seen some of this from my old videos, but if you did, still don't go into comments and rant about it. Just still leave a like if you enjoy today's episode or learn something new. But the first one we do have here is unlimited time. So as you guys can see right there, my emote limit has been reached. All I have to do is reset the game and that will reset your emote or your emote so this is really great especially when you're about to like beat somebody and you know they're not gonna three crown you or anything you can just leave the game for a while even if your emotes has been reached leave the game come back and continue taunting them and continue being a bad person and as far as i know you will be able to send the emotes to your opponent if your emote limit is reached but the extra emotes won't appear on your uh replay once you watch it but your opponent will see it so the next one we have here is the Giant Skeleton Royal Giant Push. So if you guys haven't seen um, the Giant Skeleton and Royal Giant Push, um, it's not really like a push or anything. It's basically the Giant Skeleton pushing the Royal Giant to your opponent's tower, making it a melee ranged Royal Giant. Now, um, the Giant Skeleton is definitely one of the best cards in the game, especially for like blocking out troops. I remember back then, um, when it could actually block out the Hog Rider from ever reaching your tower, or at least block it out for like a few seconds. It was pretty funny, the Hog Rider would just like keep jumping, trying to get around that Giant Skeleton, and it wouldn't even do it. And I think it also worked with the Golem on offense, like the Hog Rider couldn't get around the Golem, which is pretty funny to see, and would definitely make your opponent laugh if you were on the offense. So here comes the Giant Skeleton, it's gonna push the Royal Giant all the way to the tower. And I think the Giant Skeleton is one of those few cards that will actually push troops out of the way. I think it also works with like a Golem or Giant, but I don't really know. I mean, the Giant Skeleton seems like the only card that does work right now uh, as far as I've tested it. So next one we have here is three buildings that can actually be shot by the tower if you place it on your opponent's side. Now the way the red bar or red area works is that you can't place uh, anything down that will get the targets in range or you can't place any buildings down that will be targeted by your opponent's crown towers but the only three buildings that can be targeted by your opponent's crown towers if you place it on their side is the elixir pump the tombstone and the tesla now the tombstone i'm gonna drop it down right now and the tower is gonna start shooting it chipping off some damage and completely destroying it after that you can try it with like mostly any other building um barbarian hut goblin hut i don't know maybe bomb tower it won't work but the tesla it does get shot as long as it's above ground so really cool trick you guys might want to try out so the next one is actually an instant 3 crown method you can pull on your opponent if they wasted like all their zap spells and splash target units. So as you guys can see right there you can instantly 3 crown somebody with a free spell, rage spell, and cloned mirrored goblin barrels. So he almost got me. I got 14 HP left on my tower and I completely obliterated Mr. Swig's tower right there. And we actually have somebody who did it under 20 seconds. So I actually saw this tweeted out by Clash Royale. Somebody backdoored their king tower once they wasted all of their elixir so that's why i decided to try this out and try to get like the world fastest three crown and we actually ended up doing it in 20 seconds from where the game started so he's basically gonna save up some elixir just to get that goblin barrel mirror going and clone spell so once he reaches 10 or 8 he's gonna drop that goblin barrel mirror it and once both of those come down he's gonna drop the clone spell and that's gonna turn six goblins into 12 goblins so this clone spell should be charging up any minute now and there goes the clone spell right after the second goblin barrel goes down. 12 goblins at the tower right now and here comes the rage spell. It's going to make those goblins hit even faster and that's going to instantly 3 crown me right here. If I didn't have any splash damage or spells ready to counter that you can easily dish out super high damage to your opponent's crown towers and if you are actually gonna pull this off do it on arena tower in a normal battle not just a king tower because that would completely be a waste and if they counter that they also get an activated king tower to defend against your pushes 
And the last one we have here, you guys probably already seen this, but this is the big cards glitch. And it's not only going to work on your deck, it's also going to work on your card collection. So what I'm going to do here today is basically enlarge all the cards in my deck. And then I'm going to move all these cards to my card collection and kind of create like a cool little um, photo right here. So I'm already moving the goblins. We already have like tons of big cards in our collection right now. And I'm just going to stop it once I reach like a full big page of... Um, my card collection so I'm basically just enlarging these cards all you have to do is drag so just drag any card from the bottom which where you want your card to be enlarged tap the bottom and that card will be enlarged don't like drag it off just tap the bottom so it will automatically come off so I'm just enlarging all the cards in my battle deck then what I'm gonna do is basically move those cards down to my collection which will be um, still enlarged I guess or the cards in the collection will still be enlarged so that's pretty cool to see um, if you guys haven't already noticed that so I'm just gonna enlarge the arrows I'm gonna get um, everything up there and then I'm just gonna start moving these down to my collection and it should make a pretty cool photo right here but still guys that is gonna wrap it up for today's video be sure to smack that like button down below if you enjoyed today's episode and subscribe for more Clash Royale content like this and I'll see you guys in the next video